Hello, in this JavaScript video, I am going to show you animation. First of all, let's show you some manual animation. And before we even do that, let's create a div. Create a div. It'll be empty. We'll have an ID. Set ID to red box. And as you can get done with red. We'll do some styling here. So just do style. Generally, you would have this in a separate file, but for what we need, this will suffice. And we're going to say hash red box so we're going to get the red box i'm going to say background dash color will be red and we'll put a width and a height as well let's put 100 pixels and we'll put the same for the height now if we reload we should get a red box we get a red box okay let's there we go so let's manually sort of animate that we will just put the you know the script here to first of all we need to get hold of it so we can do var so red box equals so this is just a variable that's going to store the you know the element that we'll be getting via the id so it could be called whatever you want the document dot get element by ID and you know what the ID is you put your box and you don't actually need to put a hash because this ID it knows that it's the ID now we could do let's say red box dot style and we could set the position and uh, we could change the position to like relative for example or we could just do the dot left equals let's say 100, let's say 200 pixels. See what that does. It's moaning on this line, and it will be, we will need it afterwards. So if I put it here, and I'll remove the content from inside of here. Okay, so that's all right. We also need to have a relative position. So let's just do position relative. So as you can see, we moved it manually. Okay, you know, that's all right, but <laughs> don't really want that. What Actually, what I want to do is the next tab is create a button. When you click it, it literally just moves this across. And obviously this moves it absolutely and not relative to its current position so you need to have a variable that keeps track of this as well or you can just get the value from it style you know dot style dot left that retrieves the value then you just add you know something to it, maybe 20 pixels okay so what we can do is some automated animation and let's cover all of that good stuff so we'll comment this out we'll still need this and i'm gonna say we have a function saying epic movement and in here in epic movement we will copy this and it's gonna equal to it will equal it will equal itself plus let's just say five and then we need to just you know, add pixels as well so we know the unit and what we're going to do is actually animate it so this is going to be really cool so we are going to say we're going to animate it so we're going to say set timeout and after the timeout has elapsed We'll call this function, so we'll say epic movement, and we'll call it after uh, 100 milliseconds. So if I reload that, that does not seem to be moving. Oh, it's not moving because I have I haven't initially called the epic movement button. As an extra task, what I want you to do is create a button that actually click when you click it, it calls this. I'll manually just call it here. Mm. 
hard to tell if he's not even moving. So we've got the set timeout. The call in itself, which is right, comma. What about it do we not like? Um, I'll try something else. So if I create a var animation variable and I set this to animation. Basically, should this be milliseconds? So, well, let's have a look. If we do a console.log, is this even being called multiple times? It's being called multiple times. The problem will be somewhere here. So, we do the startup left equals, ah, we need to pass it as an int, so otherwise, it's going to have, you know. The pixel text and that's gonna mean nothing. So let me reduce this to one pixel now. Okay, still not working. Style dot left. We add ten and we add the pixel. Hmm. And it is relative. If I'm going to do a console.log, I'll get rid of this one and so we know it's going in here. Let's get left so we'll see if it's actually not being incremented successfully. It seems so. Okay, so we're passing int. We're doing red box dot star. Mm. Unless the only thing I can think of is if I put this, let's try this. Put this at the top it's equals null. So the object's always created above it. And we'll just assign it here. That's not doing anything. Redbox or style dot left. Yeah, it's, it's seeing like this piece of code here. So, like, what if I were to just literally just put this? Yeah, like that. What if I were to literally just put this instead? It likes that as well. So it doesn't like passing in the red box of style dot left. Hmm. We'll, we'll, we'll go down different. We'll create a variable. We'll say movement amount equals zero. And we'll change this. We'll just say we'll add movement amount. Plus equals one movement amount. Save that. Reload. Boom! There we go. Dollar dollar bills are coming our way. Let's change that to five. And obviously you can change this to if I change to a hundred and change back to one. It'll smooth the same amount, but it just won't be as smooth. So the smoother you want, you want this to be a smaller number, so one millisecond. But let's decrease this 0 0.0. So this will be very smooth. Okay, let's go away. We're just doing that one. Yeah, that's looking very good. So that is animation built in. If you want some more complex stuff, recommend jQuery. We solved a few problems together. That's it. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome video.